My other thumb now was different. This way. Oh. <laughs> what is up? Oh, look, Jackie's in there. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> oh, we got Laura. Hello. Hi. Something different. Did you share this on your Facebook? Do you want me to go through it? Or I don't care. I didn't share it anywhere. You can share it wherever you want to. <laughs> you can share it wherever you like. How's it going? We've got uh, eight cats, three dogs, and a family. <laughs> Hello to you. We've got Tammy and Emery. How's it going? How's it going? Woohoo! 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 So I was just. Um, it says, Come learn how to paint a reborn video. How do you paint a reborn video? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how you paint a reborn video, but we're gonna do it. So I was, um, I've been up since four in the morning and I've been painting and I thought, well, I wanna go live. Why not um, hang out with you all while I paint? I don't go live that often and I felt like it was a good time to go live. So, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, I am having the best of time I can have. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I've got, I'm working on a couple dolls to sell. I have three dolls to sell. Um, and then I've got some custom work I'm working on in between. I'm looking around to see what I have going on. And then I have, um, silicone work that I'm doing. I'm still working on the silicone that Baltic Baby uh, gave me. So I've got to get that done because I told them I would. And then I'm working on a silicone Claire Taylor baby um, for a lady. I've just gotten the veins done on that baby and I'm going to start the modeling probably later tonight. But right now we're painting Reborns. So I don't know this kit's name. It's a cute little smiley kit. It is adorable. I've had it for some time now. I um, I don't know when I bought it. I've had it for at least a couple months. That's for sure. He's really cute. So he's gonna be um, a happy, I think he'll wear a newborn size. I've been not sure about that one, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna wear it. <laughs> what? Oh my God! I made a typo and I just saw it. <laughs> ah, was said, it bad? Yes, it's, it's not appropriate. Oh God! It says hello, everyone that is doing us. <laughs> I meant to say that is joining us. <laughs> hello, everyone that is doing us. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, everyone that so is joining us. I just corrected myself. <laughs> I must have been thinking of that word. <laughs> I make some amazing typos, especially on my phone. It really makes me look smart. And then I've got Loveland. Oh my gosh, this Loveland by Sheila Markovich, I believe is her name. No, Sheila, yeah, Markov, whatever. I don't know. So cute. <laughs> little preemie. It's adorable. Sweet little baby. <laughs> And then um, Donna Butler, so Donna Butler donated, so Donna Butler has a few customs of me. Um, I just don't know when she doesn't have a few customs of me, that lady. But I love her, she loves my work, thank you so much. So she had a few customs of me right now, and she um, told me to throw away the kit from the one company that I'm no longer doing business with. And um, then she told me she wants me to pick one of the other two kits that I had from her here, which was a Phoenix and an Anna um, by Linda Murray or something like that. And so, but she said that she really wanted the Anna made for her. So she was donating whatever kit I wanted her custom for me to make towards my lawsuit. So I'm making the Phoenix towards the lawsuit and I've been working on him. Um, I like his smiley face, I really do. And he's gonna have these really nice blue eyes, they're acrylic eyes. So I'm working on him, so thank you Donna for donating 
your custom to go towards our lawsuit. We really appreciate that. As you guys have seen, the lawsuit's a very serious situation, and um, I do have videos coming back up that uh, support why I'm in this lawsuit and what I'm going in through, and uh, we appreciate all your donations. Even a dollar makes a huge difference, and if all you have to send is a dollar, you can go to my website. There's a lawsuit donation there. And even if all you can do is share, that makes a huge difference as well. So just sharing the link is just as good as donating. So um, they both have their own different ways of being helpful. But yeah, so thank you so much. I've got some babies still for sale on the website. We've been selling those. I have finally Ariana Toddler sold. I um, got to be getting him ready to go home. I realize I don't have enough glass beads for him. He's pretty big. But so what I've done with this baby, besides getting a mark on my other doll. So I've done on this baby, I've got some pink mottling done, like a pink red mottling, whatever. Got my veins done. I have a purple mottling. And that's it. So now what I want to do is I'm going to paint... A burnt sienna layer all over the doll and I'm just gonna paint it that's it you don't have to go and dab anything off unless you've got pools of paint but um, you just take the paint and move it all around your doll so this little happy guy he's such a happy baby I know when I bought the kit I was like oh my gosh I want to make that kit for myself but things are different now you really don't get to make stuff for yourself anymore. You go make stuff for your lawsuit. Um. So. so Kelsey said you just reminded her she needs to order glass beads. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I gotta go to Harbor Freight and get mine. <laughs> we just bought a box the other day and it's gone. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I mean, I could probably make like a newborn baby with it, but I would definitely not be able to do the Ariana toddler with it. No, 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 no. It would just not work. So I love this burnt sienna wash that I do. Um, I don't know, because it feel like it just makes the skin like, like, I don't know. It's like, I feel like it makes it look more like flesh. Whatever, my painting style changes all the time. I cannot keep up. Because um, <laughs> there could be, tutorials I have and I'm like I feel like this yellow layer gives it a fleshy tone so it just really depends upon the mood of painting that I'm in uh, to determine like what I think gives it a fleshy tone <laughs> because I just I don't know I love that I have so many different painting styles it doesn't really get boring when it's like that I encourage everybody to have many painting styles. Have you seen any questions that I should be answering? Sorry, I was trying to post this. Oh, I was board. just wondering. Um, because I'm just looking at the doll while I paint. A lot of people are joining and they're saying hello. And I know there was a girl here asking about shipping to Trinidad and Tobago, but I'm not really sure where the, those places are located. Her name is Emma G. I'm not really oh. sure, like, what country. My, well, my website, when you put the item in the cart and you put in your country information, it'll tell you if we ship there or not. But there has been some countries that were not on the website, like Sweden and um, Norway. I was like, what? Let me put those on there. <laughs> Fifi, she's like, somebody say my name so that I know it's coming through. Fifi, I love your name. <laughs> I used to have, we used to have a dog named Fiona, and for short, I'd call her Fifi. <laughs> yeah, she's um, with our mom, my mom's friend, and she is so <laughs> spoiled, oh my gosh. She, yeah, she really is. Super and smart. then um, Linda said, I've just realized that I'm actually not too bad at painting Reborns. It was for sure a surprise. But I am open. I am open and visual, so that could be the help. And I'm not afraid to use different colors. Oh, that's good. That's the best way to be, Linda. You just have to like experiment. Is the best thing. I feel like if you're stagnant in 
you're painting and you only paint one way forever, then you're not allowing yourself so, to be as creative as you possibly can. Trinidad and Tobago are in the Caribbean. We've never shipped to the Caribbean, but I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> Is it possible? I mean, I, I, as long as it's a Definitely safe... Definitely check out the website and see if, if, if there's a doll there that you like. And if you're at checkout and it doesn't work out, let us know. Yeah. Send us a message. I mean, if it's a safe country, we will ship to it. We've never shipped there, so... Actually, yeah, we've never shipped there in all these years. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, you said my name, Fifi. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Funk said, hi, Jackie. Hope you're having a great day. Hey, Emily Funk. <laughs> we just cut your doll's lashes the other day. Maribet Robles says, why don't you use a makeup sponge anymore? Um, when it comes to washes... Well, I do use a makeup sponge. I use it for, um, like, washes. Um, because for I... Blushy, for other, for other parts of the process, right? No, I don't even use it for blushing anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I use a makeup sponge for my, um, washes, like my, mo my mottling washes. All my washes are mottling style. I just lost my sponge I was using. Oh, there's um, in the house. But yeah, I do use makeup sponge. <laughs> like right here, here's a motley one. But I, I have a yellow one somewhere. It's just gone. To, it's disappeared. Where did you go? Reborn Fever Girl. Right here, she always just right popped here. in to say hello. Hello, girl. Hi, and she welcome. And she'll be watching the video later. Um, Fifi is from England. Oh, nice. And Linda said that um, it's the best medication she has for now. Oh, no, not medication. <laughs> Medi medi meditation? meditation? Oh, meditation, yeah. <laughs> medication. Man, I lost my... Do I have a yellow sponge over there by you? By me? No. Yeah, it's like a, mo a motley one. Man, I'm yeah. always losing that sponge. It's probably right in front of my face. <laughs> because of the chaos in my work area. Okay, so that doll, I'm letting its layer dry right now, and then, let me see. Oh. Um, here's a really good question by Sandra Dyson. Are you self-taught, and if so, when did you stop second-guessing yourself? Oh, second-guessing That is a myself. really good question. Uh, I mean, we're not self-taught. We started out with precious little baby dusts tutorials why are you looking at me <laughs> and then um no we are self-taught well yeah I mean, we what? are self-taught but in the beginning we started with precious little baby dust tutorials and then you start to just dabble here dabble there and then you start like in finding your own self and your own art style and as for the second guessing I still second guess myself. Some not as bad. I will say it's gotten better in the last two years. So how many years of painting would that have been? Five? What? Like the second guessing has become less, but that's yeah. probably in the last two years. But yeah. I still will second guess. Yeah. Because like sometimes I have to make a decision where I'm like Okay, you know, like for instance I'll be sitting here at this doll and I'm like do you need yellow or you know and you're like okay if we go yellow there's a potential that you might go the wrong way but you just I feel like when I second guess myself I really just take the plunge I'm just like forget it is your thing working or is it my computer um it's no it's working it says it's working I have okay. chats going okay. um Emily Funk says, yeah. I feel like when you're painting every kit is a different work of art. Yeah. It seems perfectly reasonable that you wouldn't paint everyone the same. Right. Yeah, yeah, they are. Even when you paint two of the same kit, they'll still do their own little thing. And you're just, you're just like, I wanted you to look identical to that other one, but you're not. You're not, so thank you so much. So I think with this doll that I was just working on... I'm actually 
we're gonna bake it on this layer because normally I probably would have done two burnt sienas but this doll has more of a let me show you you can see the difference kind of in the kit color a little mm -hmm. like this one has more of a peachy this kind of has like a gray undertone I don't know it's, it's hard to say it's, more, Taylor. it's not as peachy as the other one but it is peachy but it's got like a brown under like a brown peachy not an orange I just don't even know what to tell you all right, so I'm going to, I'm kind of like on the same stages with everything right now. Loveland needs, hmm, what do you need, Loveland? Loveland needs her creases done. She's so cute. She's adorable. Do you see the questions yet, Jackie? Um, well, um, Taylor is heading out. She just popped in real quick. All right, bye. <laughs> what company do you feel sells the best kits and products? I don't really think there's such thing. Yeah, I don't really think there's like one company that's better than the other company. I will say that there are certain things I like about certain companies and there are things that I don't like about the companies. But everybody has that. I mean, people will say that about me. So it's just, my go-to is McPherson's. I typically go straight to McPherson's. They're really fast shipping and their prices are really good. And I, I mean, I like everything about them. Um, other than their bodies, their clock bodies, like they're, they could be just a tiny bit small, but other than that, no. Um, and then I go to Doll So Real is my next one. Like if I don't find what I want with it, McPherson's, then I go to Doll So Real. And then um, I go to Irresistibles after that. And then I go to Dolls by Sandy after that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty much how it goes. That's, that's, that. There's certain, so that's the chain of command. Certain vendors I go for certain things for and other vendors. I stay away from for other reasons. Yeah, there's some vendors that I'm like, ugh. I, I do not order with them. And then when I do order with them, it's because, like, I had to. Like, they were the only one that had it. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to order with you guys. But usually when I say I don't go there is because they're typically really slow in shipping. So, like, basically when I rate vendors, it's rated off of shipping speed. <laughs> And Mac Persons is the fastest. So, they've always been, like, the fastest. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. They used to be slow years ago. And then now they're, like, lightning fast. It's insane. I don't... It's... Because it comes from Canada, so it's really crazy. So, um... Dawn says, Is there a certain type of baby that you would say is easier to begin with as a beginner? I would say... Definitely stick to a sleeping night baby. Yeah, I was gonna say sleeping and like a newborn size baby. Newborn size is, is a good size. Yeah. For me, I feel like it's too small. I need to get my hair cut. This bang right here <laughs> is driving me crazy. So that's what I would recommend. Sleeping and newborn size. Yeah, because preemies, they, everybody thinks just because they're smaller, they're easier to paint. They aren't, I mean, then they are. <laughs> But, like, they're just harder to, to hold and it's just a pain. But, um, let's see. I find my hands hurting more when I'm working on a smaller doll. See, so irresistible. What? So irresistible hasn't a connection to those. I missed that. Um, is there paint that doesn't need to be baked? Yeah, they do have air dry paints. I mean, and you can use, like, um, some people use acrylic paints. I've never painted with that stuff. I've only, we've only ever painted with Genesis. So, um, but yeah, there are air dries too you, that you can use too. All right, now, let's see. Actually, we're going to work some more with the doll we're just working on. The paint's dried, so, well, it's dried for the most part. What I'm gonna do now is I have um, my blushing over Adrian here. Adrian is in the house. Oh, yeah. She says, sorry I'm late. Oh, no worries. 
I've got some red. It's not. It's a mixture of uh, some reds. It's not just one red. But this is for the hands and the feet. I know it looks pretty red, but it, it's not, trust me. Once it's done, it's gonna be. Stephanie and Jackie, will you be having a Thanksgiving dinner? We have definitely been. <laughs> We've been buying it been piece buying by piece. Yes. Piece by piece. Typically, I'm already coming here closer to the phone. Hi, everybody. Um, we typically buy everything at once, but because we don't know how money is going to be, we've been like, okay, well, today we're going to get the cranberry sauce, and tomorrow <laughs> we, we got the um, stuffing, and then, then we just barely got our turkey. We were able to afford that, but yeah, yeah, we actually made a, a huge payment to our attorney on Saturday, so yes. that left us. We have paid $4,000 to the attorney. Yes. And um, we've thankfully and have had think, help from the GoFundMe, yes, we and then we've had, had some help a couple there. customs donated and a silicone donated, donated, so it's really helped. And then, um, yeah, so yeah, it's. But so, yeah, we are we are having a Thanksgiving. Yes, thank you for asking. Yeah, thank you for asking. Definitely, and we have been working on Tambri's Christmas. I know that many were concerned about that and thought that Tambri shouldn't have to do without Christmas because of the lawsuit, and which we totally agreed with. Um, it's just, you know. So pretty much what's going to happen this year is all of our money that we... It's not really extra money because there's no such thing, but... Yeah, we don't really have we, extra money. <laughs> what she did was made she made a specific doll mm -hmm. that she's like, no matter what, this doll, when it sells, all of this money is going to go towards Tambri's Christmas. No matter what. No matter what. Like, this is the money. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. It freaking sold. And we were so excited. So, we started doing some Christmas shopping for her. And and truly, our, our, our focus is her. Us adults, it doesn't really matter. We'll fill our stockings with Bolly Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, no, we um, definitely have started on her Christmas shopping, and um, so yeah, no, we've got, I think we're pretty much ready for Thanksgiving, we just need a couple, like, vegetable things. Yeah. Um, and it's just gonna be me, my mom, Jackie, and Tambri that I'm aware of, so. We might get a surprise visit from someone, but we're not sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh. Don't know. <laughs> so, um, now, so what I do is I go and I put the paint on all of them and then I take my brush and I get that off. And I swear, I have a new tutorial that I just need to do the voiceover for for my Facebook page, which if you guys are wanting tutorials, I do have tutorials on... I have a private Facebook page and you pay a hundred dollars to it and you get access to it and whatever I put there which is like little mini painting tut um, tutorials how to make this mix and then there's full tutorials and there's another tutorial waiting to go up but this lawsuit has had my attention with that doll company in Utah so <laughs> Fiona it's 9 30 in the morning um, here yeah, I do have another tutorial to put up. Uh, um, a lot of, I, I, see, I see a couple people are a little concerned by the way that you are painting. Because they think that, like, how are you absorbing the extra, like, the extra paint? And aren't you leaving, like, streaks because no. you're using a brush? No. I think it's all in the way that you use it. It's all in the way that you use it. You have and, to. Like, how you have to pay paint, attention, yeah. If your paint is too thick, of course, you're going to definitely get streaks. Well, you have to pay attention, and you have to take it off and move your brush the right way and stuff. But everybody that buys my dolls, this is how I paint. <laughs> this is how I've been painting for over a year, two years now, I think, Yeah. with this brush. And then another thing about removing paint with a brush is that the sponge 
really takes, takes the color it off. off. Yeah, it and takes it too much. And what the brush does, it sort of it moves it like makeup. So I use a I use a foundation brush, and you have to kind of think of it like your foundation. It actually moves your paint like your foundation. So, you know, I don't think we typically have streaks on our faces, and if you do, you definitely want to uh, work that streak into your face. <laughs> because somebody gonna look at you funny on the streets but yeah it's all about how you move it and just paying attention as you see I'm not just like sitting with my hand in one position I'm moving it around you see look at that and it's a soft brush too yeah the bristles are soft yeah it's a yeah it's a foundation brush <laughs> put it to your face I don't know why I just touched it to your face <laughs> So I got the feet done, and I'm going to do the same on the cheeks, too. <clears throat> so, I'm going to, this is just like, I'm going to put this on the cheek right here. I like to do this, too. I no longer, like, really crease inside the ear. I've been working with a color layer up inside the ear um, canal. To kind of give it the shading, like a natural shading. But yeah, this is. I guess I haven't shared this painting. Well, my class has seen this painting, that's for sure. Same way I teach my class. I mean, I dragged the brush, too. It's all about how you work the brush. Trust me. Trust me. It's all about moving the brush. Oh, my God. I just grabbed the wrong brush. Oh, my God. Now it's so got a brown Don, cheek. Don, Don said she's seen a doll painted by you and I and amidst a group of other reborn dolls. And I must say, I was just painted... And I must say, it was just painted and rooted more realistically than all the other dolls in the group. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my haters say my work looks like trash. That was very sweet. Don, Thank you, you so said... much, Don, Raja, Raja, Sheesh. <laughs> I probably destroyed your last name. I'm so sorry. So you see my bush is getting kind of messy. It's getting a little carried away on the face. Don't worry. I'm going to clean it up here in just a second. Leave him with his bloody ears. Okay, so then I take my sponge and I go and just wipe off where I don't want that excess blushing. I'm having issues with the computer. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, my computer keeps freezing. <laughs> And then, like, I just saw some little, um, wasn't finished well enough right there, so. There we go. Look at that. Now, let's clean his bloody ears. Ah, your ears are bleeding. There we go. And what I love with the brush is it gets everywhere. You see that? It just gets the paint all over. Unlike a sponge, man. It's hard to fit that sponge in certain areas. Destiny Rodriguez asks if you can get paint from Walmart. Not Genesis. So Genesis heat set paints, which is what we use. We typically have to buy them, not typically, <laughs> we always have to buy them online. Um, air dry paints, I'm not really sure. I, I know also. MacPherson sells air dry. Um, I think a couple of the other doll sites, but I, it's not like acrylic air dry. It's some kind of paint they've made. I don't so know. So you, yeah, definitely have to get Look at that online. guy. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cheery. Do you mind? Um, yeah, I can put that in the oven for you. Actually, no. No, don't. It's fine. I'm no. going to do something else. Yeah. So I'm going to... So my... When I when I paint... The goal is... is How much work can I get done in a, in a session before I have to bake? So... Right now, we've just done... 
a burnt sienna layer. We've blushed our hands and feet. We've blushed the face. But on my limbs, I want to add some more of my mottling wash. And because I do have those other layers already painted but not baked, but they've dried, I can put my mottling wash layer on top of all that work and it's fine. But after this layer, we're gonna bake. So I usually tr try to do two to four things on the doll, two to four different things, and then bake. Now, unfortunately, when you're doing varnish of any type, that's all you can do. You have to bake after the varnish. So, but like when I start my doll, the first thing I do is the veins, then I do three layers of mottling, it bakes. And then, yeah, and so now we're at the next stage. So that's what I do. And it saves a lot of time. If you don't have to bake, you're saving that book baking time, you're saving the cooling time, you're saving a lot of time. I teach that in my tutorials too. I teach you how to, you know, when to bake, obviously. So if you follow my tutorials, um, which you can send $100 to my PayPal, and then you, I send you a link to the page, and I add you to it. But I teach you how, to, when you bake. Maybe so. you should say, did you say that it's on Facebook? Yeah, it's a Facebook page. It is a Facebook page. Um, <laughs> also, I'm new to this. What is baking paint on a doll? So, um, in order to get the doll to look realistic, we paint it. And then each, the paint has to be baked in order to cure it to the vinyl. So if it's not baked, it will come off. So you just can't put this paint on there and it stays. Unless you're using an air dry paint, that's something totally different. I'm using Genesis heat set paint. It's an oil based paint, so it's not um, an air dry. It has to bake. So see, we added some mottling in there. Looks so much better. Look, I'll show you, okay? Let me show you the difference. This is the leg that I need to put some more um, my mottling wash on. And then this is the one that just got the mottling wash. So I'm really liking where the color is going. I'm liking it a lot. I see. Okay. So yeah, oh my God, this baby's gonna be so cute. Hopefully I have him up on the website tomorrow for sale. We, um, I don't have that six, we're supposed to have the $6,000 on the second. Maya Popper, she says won't it melt. I think she means when you put it in the oven. No, they don't melt. You have to bake them at a certain degree. They bake at a, like 265 degrees for eight minutes. Yeah. Seven, six, seven minutes, it just depends. Yeah, but if you leave it in there longer than that, it will melt. It will melt, it will yes. Melt, so. But these bake in a new wave oven, so once they're done with their timer, the oven shuts off. Now, I don't recommend baking in your home oven, but when you bake at your home oven, I've come close to melting. It was Coco Malou all the time back then. I would leave it in and, and her little neck would be like, <laughs> be like ah! Ah! Get it out! It was every time I was working, working on a Coco Malou. And that kit was just so popular. That's Thank bitches. you, my Reborn Corner. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. All right. So this baby needs to bake now. Sweet. Oh no, I didn't do any modeling on its head. Um, it needs a little bit. Try to keep it light. I mean, it is light on the doll, but let's try not overdo it. So, and when I do modeling, it goes everywhere on the doll. I used to never do it over the bridge of the nose and stuff and then like I said as time changes I change my style there we 
go. Sorry, I get quiet because I'm just like focused. Oh my god, so cute! Look at it! Uh, the color is a mixture of um, reds and pinks. I show you guys how to make these colors if you purchase access to my Facebook page for my tutorials. I do show you how to make them there, so yeah. All right, so this one is ready for the oven. The Art of Handmade Dolls and Stuff wants to know what color is that. that yeah, I, I just answered that oh, one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. <laughs> Baby, can you come put this one in the oven, please? Yeah. All right, I'm going to have Jackie put it in the oven. Sorry, I guess when you answered it, I was reading other comments. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, wait, someone asked. There's like a little... Wait, just the, the doll head you want in the oven? No, I want um the whole the whole doll. I was just gonna set it on the chair. I just didn't want to go over there and leave leave my friends all by themselves. Wanna run away like that on them? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. I'm like, I am in this funk where I hate creasing right now. Oh, thank you so much, Tina. That's so sweet. She just sent 1999. Tina. Tina, thank, thank you. you. So much. Oh my gosh. She's I'll really sweet. Shirt. Love my shirt, bitches. I love my shirt too. <laughs> Do you guys know that this is the YouTube team number for us? In Love with Reborn's team number is 79. And that's all we have to say. <laughs> that's all we have to say. You know, you should look up the description for 79. It's quite, um, look up like the meaning of 79. It's kind of weird. It's different. It's very different. There is, there's a very religious uh, meaning for it. It's, it's an angel and everything. So um, it does have some good uh, meanings though behind it. So I'm going to use some of the meanings from uh, the description of what 79 means for our team. Like motto or whatever. <laughs> for our team slogan. Okay. Um, Phoenix. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> People are like, I know the meaning. <laughs> 79 is now my favorite number. <laughs> oh, better place to bet it all on 79. Yeah. I don't advise playing it, though, at the casino. It's probably not a lucky number. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see, a zero, a zero, I'm probably not saying the name correctly, but this person loves how there's just babies hanging on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> let's just say they're doll limbs, because <laughs> baby sounds kind of scary. But they are babies. <laughs> they're just not real. <laughs> I know. Emily Funk is asking me if I'm working on any babies. Yes, I am. I am working on on what? Maylene by Olga. She's gonna be getting mottling soon, but she's wearing a um, a boy hat right now. She's in her early stages. Um, if you guys follow me on Patreon, I, I, I actually shared a story about this baby and why <laughs> what what <laughs> oh my goodness anyway so i'm working on that baby and then um i have to root a custom and then that i will be working later tonight and then i also told stephanie that i wanted to start on for the lawsuit because we have to get whoops Got we have dishes. to Hi, everybody. We have to get um, more money for our lawsuit coming in December. So I'm going to have two cuddle babies available for adoption if you guys want to see them. And they're going to be ethnic. Yeah, they will be ethnic. Yeah. So um, I've had that asked if you're going to make I'm not selling them before they're made. They will be sold after they are made so you guys know because they're not customs because... 
yeah, so you guys know exactly what you're going to be getting. So one of them, her, she, her name is Mia. We got her from McPherson's uh, website. And she, they actually sell just the heads there, guys. If you guys didn't know, you can actually buy just the doll heads. So I got her, or and my they wife. have some pretty. That one was twenty bucks, I think, or twenty four or something. Yeah, like she's that. small. She's gonna be like a small newborn. She's a small baby. So I'm and painting then, some uh, yellow on the nose. And then we have another kit named Bailey by Bonnie Sieben. They're both by the same people. Um, also, I, we just purchased the head. And we have the cuddle bodies that are also being sold by Mike Pearson. And yeah, I'm going to be working on these two. They're going to be ethnic babies. And again, all of the funds for these babies are going to go towards the wrongful lawsuit that we are in. That little pop of yellow. Pop of yellow, pop of yellow. So yes. So yeah. So that's how it. How it's. <laughs> that's what my schedule looks like. <laughs> yeah. I wish I would stop waking up at 4 a.m. though. It's really getting tiring. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Gail. Yeah, it's been a while since I made a cuddle baby. I totally love to make cuddle babies because, I guess I just like to. Like, the head is my favorite part of a reborn doll, you know? Like, I spend so much time trying to make it look as realistic as possible as I can. So, painting a cuddle baby is like a dream. Ah, all I have to focus on is the head. <laughs> so, it's fun. It's really fun. I can't wait to uh, have those finished and share them with you guys. Yep. Okay, let's see. I love how Stephanie's baby is looking as well. Oh, thank you so much. Busy bees. <laughs> also, you can just call me Krishima if you want. <laughs> Phoenix is such a cute baby doll. Thank you all of you for joining us on this live. Yeah, thank you. It's been fun. I'm Thank trying to see so if there's much. another. I have other dolls in the works, other customs that are hanging on the wall here, but I just can't get to them right now because, unfortunately, I do have to make <clears throat> other dolls <laughs> <laughs> for other stupid situations. Let's see, Linda, Andrea, our babies are so awesome. That one's really cute, Stephanie. Thank you. Yeah, she does beautiful sculpting. She really does. She has a talent for <coughs> her sculpting, that's for sure. Somebody, I saw um, someone asked if I would do those Chinza paper baby dolls. Um, no, I wouldn't. I just, me personally, I don't see a, a point in having paper babies, I guess. I think they'd be awesome if I had, like, um, children that were at that, you know, coloring book ages and stuff. Then I would probably buy them. But, no, I have no um, need to get them. Fiona Morris asked if I would ever consider, consider, <laughs> consider combo hair for my cuddle babies. Is that where it's, like, painted and rooted? Yeah. Oh, God. So I guess where it's like painted on the sides, but rooted kind of like a top at the top. Yeah, but it's not like a, it's just like a little bit of hair. It's just, I don't know. I've, I, I've never really done that. I've always been a, either I paint the hair or I root the hair. Yeah. We've never really, yeah. We've I never guess done maybe that. I'm just not, I just. You don't like the style, for what? Yeah, I think that's what it is. I just don't... I'm not really fond of the style. That's just me, though. I do. Some people do it really nice, and I'm always like, oh... Yeah, I'm like, oh, wow, that. if I could do that, then yeah. Yeah, they do some <laughs> really nice, really painted combos, and I'm just like, wow, that's so I'm not nice. trying to say that the people that do it are not good. It's just... 
we don't know. Me, myself, I'm just like, I just don't even know how I would do <laughs> it. like, where do we start? <laughs> I don't know. It's confusing. It's confusing. So I'm just working on, like, some little face details. Because he's getting towards the end. Um, can you do a hair rooting tutorial? You know, um, Krishima, if you go on my YouTube channel, I have quite a bit of rooting videos on there. Um... And I think I also call them rooting tutorial, and I show you exactly how I hold a needle, how I hold a hair, how I, what kind of needle I use, what kind of hair I'm using. But just to give you a brief of what I like to use, I like to use fork needles, 42G specifically, and I love Susan Agil mohair. Um, and sometimes... Um, Delta Dawn. So, Amy Ambry says, just recently found your channel. I love watching you guys and have to say, I admire your strength to stand up for what you believe in. Your dolls are beautiful. Thank you so much, Amy. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, Amy. Yeah, it's exhausting. That's for sure. Standing up for what is right um, is very exhausting, but you have to do what you have to do. Thank you and welcome to the channel. So glad to have you here. I like what you're doing. Thanks. The ear color, the, what you did there, is really making it... I like it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I use, um, instead of creasing, like I go back and forth between my mottling color and like a purple to try to yeah make it more natural. Yeah. I don't know, that's just what I do. That's just what I do. That's just what I do. What is the channel name, Jackie? It's Jackie Ortiz. <laughs> Very creative. <laughs> okay. But right. yeah, I actually have quite a bit of uh, doll making videos and doll assembling videos. Ah, oh, he's cute. How long does it take for you to make a reborn? I think it's a very different experience for everybody. Yes. I will let the queen <laughs> say how long it takes if her. If it's not a custom, it's it's. I'm pretty fast. Customs, I take a long time because it's somebody else's vision, and so I have to work with that. But when it's just my own work, like I'm super fast. Um, I don't know. It just depends upon the day, really. But in a day, I could have one done, start to finish. Not a problem at all. But that's all she does. But that would be there's all no I breaks. Do. There's no, hey, can we run to the store and grab this? Yeah, there's no. no she's it's twenty. It's 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 like there a mad lady <laughs> going insane, just painting. That's all it is. Just and staying painting. on top. As soon as that kit is cool, she is painting on it already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I am. Which takes me back to the time when Stephanie <laughs> thought she didn't have to wait for a kid to cool down to do her next step. <laughs> and I mean, we're talking about month one into reborning when we first started reborning, okay? Like back in 2011, early 2012, um, she was like... She, I wasn't even around. I came back and, and she's like, look, the color sticks better if you do it when it's hot. And then I'm like, um, okay, but can you blend that color? Because now it's just like, plop. <laughs> and it's like, you can't blend that color. It's really red. And I'm like, Steph, I don't think you should do that again. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't, do that. I didn't do that again. <laughs> so, yeah, you definitely have to wait for your kit to cool down to room temperature. <laughs> yeah, for the most part. Mm -hmm. you cool. <laughs> or you'll regret it. And have a fan is the fastest way to cool it. Yeah, we set can, ours in front if of If you can fan. put the limbs in a cold room, which we used to do that, it'll cool a lot faster, too. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you oh, so wait. much. Thank you so much. What happened to the comments? Sometimes oh. they disappear. 
and then they come back. I don't know where they go. How much is the mohair for an ounce? Because a lot of curly mohair is a lot of money. So, um, TM sisters, I've noticed my experience, everybody sells mohair at different prices. Um, the most com like more popular uh, mohair vendors sell the mohair for about $60 um, for... No, I get I pay set I pay Susan Nagel seventy dollars for one ounce. That's really good. And that that's actually very good. Now, I believe Delta Dawn is like fifty dollars for half an ounce. Am I right on that? Uh, Don't yeah. quote me on it, but it's been a while since I bought from Delta Dawn. I think that is. But I think price. I want to say she's, and then a uh, Slumberland was uh, is about thirty something dollars for half an ounce too, right? Half mm -hmm. an ounce. So then, yeah, full ounce would be sixty dollars. So that's about price range of mohair. But if you go on Etsy, I've never bought from Etsy. I see mohair is a lot cheaper there, but I don't know the quality of it. Too. Yeah, we we stick to our same people we've always bought with. It seems like. We like your stuff. All right, well, I'm gonna go. I am need to get up and walk around. <laughs> I didn't realize my back is starting to hurt. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. It was fun. I should be back tonight with a video because we're early today. So later on, I might just be back with another one. I hope you guys have a good Monday. Those of you enjoying your holidays already, have fun. I'm gonna. Take a break and then get back to work. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.